What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel Beast Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, it looks like, man, Detroit rapper Big Sean, man, his cutoff game is super savage. Now, y'all know, man, like about a month ago, man, he did, you know what I'm saying, actually come out with a heartfelt video on Instagram where he was talking about some of the issues he was had going on in his actual life. Now, apparently, man, Big Sean and Janae, man, they actually broke up about two months ago and Sean moved out of the home they shared in Los Angeles. Now, the couple was dating actually for two years and we all thought they would actually eventually get married. I mean, she had to do name tatted on her, his picture, all of that. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, real young love type of foolishness. However, man, Janae is not ready to move on yet, man. Even though Sean has made it pretty much clear he doesn't want to have nothing to do with her. Now, recently, man, you know, R.I.P. to Big Nipsey Hustle, man. Big Sean went to Twitter, man. And he posted, he said, yo, we still feel your energy. Thank you, Nipsey. You know what I'm saying? Janae Aiko, she replied right back to Big Sean, man, and Big Sean curved her like a damn palm tree. Now, Janae Aiko, man, she came out, she said, you are so special to me, to the world. While we're both still on this planet, I just want to say I love you beyond measure. Even though I get mad and you trigger the F out of me, you make me feel. And I appreciate that because I thought I was dead inside. My ego has no say so when it comes to you. And my heart has been broken a thousand times just to expand. It always finds room for you, the good and the bad. I love you from this life to the next and all the other lives we've known each other before. I'ma always talk my S, but I'ma always have your back. Now, man, according to sources, man, Big Sean pretty much ghosted her after she said that. Now, that's kind of like, you know, a woman, man, when your lady texts you this long paragraph and you hit it with the one word. He didn't even hit it with the one word. He just hit it with the nothing. So he was basically saying, man, out of respect for Nipsey, I will be postponing the release of the new music I plan on releasing this month until I feel the time is right. So he made no mention to Janae at all, man. He was basically like, he hit her with the Heisman, you know what I'm saying, muster in the face and everything. I mean, it was pretty embarrassing, man, because everybody caught the shade, you know what I'm saying? Like, he pretty much didn't say anything to her. So, man, it's got to be something going on with Shorty, man, to make him really not want to deal with her. Now, you know, she did, you know, was struggling with, uh, you know, different addictions to uh, substance abuse, man. She's been going through that. But apparently, man, there's a lot more that she's going through where he doesn't want to have not a damn thing to do with Janae, man. So definitely crazy, man. Definitely crazy information, man, that she, you know what I'm saying? She's definitely still shooting her shot and Big Sean wants no parts of this. Now, he was allegedly linked up with Ariana Grande. Doesn't like they're really rocking too heavy anymore. But, I mean, maybe he's just taking time out for himself, man. Maybe he just don't want to deal with the crazy. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Share the videos. And I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Holla.